It's been a while since I've done my last camera bag video and a lot of things have changed since then. So I thought I would give you guys a quick little update while also giving you guys kind of a what's in my camera bag video at the same time. If you watched the last video, you know that I was using the Wandered Hexat duffel as my main camera bag. And I still use it and it's a great bag, but as of now, I'm only using it for shorter trips, two to three days max. It's just the perfect bag for when I want to throw in a couple outfits and a body and a lens, and, and that's really it. But eventually, I found myself needing a bag, a true camera bag that had more support, uh, more accessibility, and just more space in general to fit more things for extended trips. Um, again, it still needed to check all the boxes of the old bag, so it needed to be able to house a gimbal, tripods, multiple bodies, and lenses, and a laptop. So after doing tons of research, I finally landed on this bag, and it's the Lowepro Whistler AW2. So I gotta say, I love this bag. It, is what I take with me on longer extended trips. Um, it's great for when I wanna go hiking with some gear. And most importantly, I've been taking it with me on my wedding shoots, just because there's so much space and it's really easy to just haul around during the day. It's definitely not as cool looking as the Wandered bag, but I'm starting to prefer the more outdoorsy kind of technical look of the bag. Again, it's kind of a low key bag, you wouldn't look at it and assume it's a camera bag at all. Um, I think you might just look at it and think it's more like a hiking bag or something. But yeah, that's just another thing that I love about the bag. All right, so here's how I typically have the bag set up. For this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I use it during wedding shoots. And as you can see, there's plenty of room for multiple bodies and lenses. Right now I'm shooting on the a7 III, but this is my 5D Mark IV, which is my main workhorse for weddings and mostly any shoots, really. Next up, here's the 70 to 200. This is the F2.8 Mark II version. Fits nice and snug in this little slot. My main lens is the 24 to 70. This is the F2.8 Mark II version. I use it for weddings, basically everything. And I also like to carry a prime on me for my second body. This is an 85 Rokinon Cine DS lens. Next up, I have my Mavic 2 and a separate little case for the controller. These are some extra batteries and some ND filters that fit nicely into, into the section. I also carry a couple of monitors with me during wedding shoots. This is the Atomos Ninja 5 and it is a badass little monitor. Somehow I'm even able to fit a light into this thing and it fits perfectly standing up. Finally, we have the A7S II, which I use a lot for low light situations. Uh, still waiting on that A7S III though. Another cool thing about this bag is that I can attach my little peak design clip onto the waist strap and if I'm out hiking or something, I can actually just throw my camera on it that way. One thing to keep in mind is that this bag actually comes with a bunch of customizable inserts. So while I have it configured this way, there's probably an infinite amount of ways you can customize and set it up yourself. For my laptop, tripod, and gimbal, I'm using the front compartment and side straps. The front pouch can actually fit up to a 15 inch laptop, but I recently switched and kind of downsized to an 11 inch iPad Pro for when I traveled just due to the weight. It's not the most ideal, but for my gimbal and tripod, I use the side straps. The straps on the side can actually hold equipment like snowboards and skis. So these things are really solid and you don't have to worry about your gimbal or your tripod falling off. One thing I wanted to make sure I mentioned on my last video, a lot of you guys asked if the Wandered bag could be carried on. With this bag, not only can you carry it on, it actually fits as a personal item under your seat. So if you fly Southwest, that's great news. I think I've done it on a couple of Delta flights. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty tight and you might have to put your feet up if it's really full, but um, it works and I've never had an issue with it before. 
So I've had the Low Pro Whistler for about a year now and it has held up just amazingly well. It's been on multiple trips, um, all kinds of wedding shoots, and honestly, it's, it's just held up great. I have no complaints as far as the, the quality is concerned. When I first started shopping for this bag, um, it was a bit expensive. It was around $400 when I bought it, um, but since then, I've been, I've been kind of looking around making this video, and I've noticed that the prices have drop significantly. So, I mean, I think you can find it for probably around 250, 275. Definitely check eBay. They have some great low listings that I saw recently. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the bag and thanks for watching. I'll probably see you guys in another six months when I decide to buy another bag.